How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. We're going to continue our Alpha ABS tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at making some custom skills uh, that will increase uh, the fun in your game. Basically, I've got um, an instant skill here that works just like it does in the demo with just a, a few changes. Uh, we've got a technique skill that's going to use TP to throw rocks. And we've got... Um, Another skill that would use the mouse to let us like place an AOE somewhere. So let's just move a little bit closer. Yeah, the game's coming along really nice. It's starting to to get more and more fun. Um, I'll. I'll show you some of the changes that I've made to the project real quick. So, um, added a few more plugins. I'm slowly incorporating new plugins to see what's compatible and what works and um, things that I uh, want to use to manipulate the, the game that I'll be building here. Uh, so, in this episode, uh, I've added YEP underscore base param control, and I'll go over the note tags I'm using to regulate how much uh, stat gain everything's getting. And I'm using the extension, yep, underscore x, class base param um, for that to, to work on the character. Um, I think these were already added. I added Yanfly status menu core just to make it look better. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same, though. Um, okay, so in the database, um, we've got under the classes, uh, the new class that I've added, the Ronin, um, we're using some parameter uh, change, the changes that are based off the level. So this is part of Yanfly's plugin. Um, using custom class parameters, setting up our uh, maximum HP is going to be basically uh, 100 times our level plus 100, uh, 20 times our level on the MP. We've got attack. All of our stats are basically 5 a level. And then our experience gain is going to be uh, our level times 300. So this is going to give us a little more control. Uh, we're going to be able to kill a lot of enemies really quickly. So um, I'm sort of setting it up that I don't have to use this curve and manipulate that. I can just say exactly how much experience we're going to need each level, how much stats we're gaining. That's going to help me balance out later on. You don't have to do this in your project, but I thought I would mention it and how I'm handling my project. Let's get to the juicy stuff. All right. So uh, for Phoenix Kageritsu's Alpha ABS uh, system we're using three new skills uh, one I'm calling ignite and it's just basically a fire uh, magic attack that targets uh, one enemy as our scope and battle screen so that we could use it in the ABS map um, simple formula we're just using uh, magic attack power times two minus enemies uh, magic defense allowing criticals and variants adding a state of burning and here's our note tags that we're going to be using. We're using ABS 0, which makes it an instant cast. We're using reload time 120. That's going to make it take two seconds to be able to, to recharge. And we're using range 6. And another, another interesting thing I want to talk about um, when you're using uh, Phoenix Kagedis' Alpha ABS system. Uh, on this little menu right here where it says repeat, this is actually the range. So since we're putting 6 right here, um, this is doing the same thing. So if I were to get rid of this range six note tag, it would still have six range because on this repeat, it's this whole section is being replaced by range. So you can exclude the, the range note tag if you want to use this repeat. Alternatively, whatever range you set in here will overwrite what you put in here. So if I put like 11 or I think nine's the highest, is it 10? No, it's nine. So if I put nine in here, this range is going to overwrite this this range so it's still going to have six now if i were to remove this now it would have nine range the same thing if i went one and i put range right here it's going to have six range it's a little thing to note so th these uh are note tags you've already learned i guess i'll put them in a box or something uh range is the new note tag for this skill i'm making it cost mp and i'm letting it gain tp because the next skill i've made it a special type which is a tech and I made this magic spell basically not be magic. It's just you're throwing a stone. It's a skill. So we're making it cost TP instead of MP. Uh, we're also letting it gain a little TP. So it actually only costs 7, but you need 10 to use it. Um, I'm also making the, the damage formula based on attack and agility. So 
since we're not putting it in the magic category, I'm not using its magic attack power as a parameter for this would be spell. Um, so we're using our attack power and our, and our agility minus the defense, so it's not super strong, but you'll get TP quite effectively. And the reason why I don't want it to do a lot of damage is because it has a very large range. It's got a range of 9. So we're going to be able to use this to start the fight and then pull them in and, uh, and uh, start unleashing the rest of our skills that do more damage. So this is all like our, our, our ranged attack pulling skill. And that's pretty much all that is. And then our last one for this tutorial is our Firestorm. And this is going to deal wind damage, and it's using our magic attack power minus the uh, enemy's magic defense bonus. Uh, also, I found a nice thing in all the templates where uh, Phoenix Kagadisu would include the range and what kind of cast it was. And if we look at the templates down here, um, on a lot of them it shows you like the stats. So the player who's looking at it will know... Um, basically how the skill operates by looking at it so sort of went with something that that sort of a uh, description design so I'm letting the player know the cast time is two seconds on this the cooldown is two seconds and has a range of seven um, also in this game I'm not saying what stats that it uses when it's magic because uh, ninety percent of or more of the magic skills are going to use the magic attack power and then other skills that are like tech I'll, I'll list what stats that are actually looking for um, just a design choice. You can uh, put your descriptions however you want, actually. Um, in the note tags for this uh, this area of effect attack, um, we're using ABS2. So throw stone is ABS1. Um, we'll go back to that one before we go over it. Uh, so ignite is zero makes it instant, right? ABS1 is going to make it like a, a, it throws it in a line, right? So it's like a vector. Um, when you do something like that, you need to include an image. So uh, in this this effect, I'm using the fire particle that came with. This is just a PNG file um, that's being used to uh, to illustrate the when it goes from your character to its target, and then it'll play the animation when it hits the target. And then the reload time, same thing. It's divided by 60 to tell how many seconds it's going to take. 60 frames per second, 120 frames, going to take 2 seconds. Um, the range on this is 9. So we can actually update this. Let's go um, range 9. And we'll say cooldown 2 seconds. Awesome. So on the Firestorm one, the AOE where you have control with the mouse to place it anywhere you want... Um, we're using ABS2, and that's going to give us like that circle kind of attack. And the radius is the, uh, how many tiles it uses to issue damage. So obviously the, the, the graphic of the circle isn't um, what determines uh, where it damages. Um, the radius is actually what determines how many tiles around it's going to damage. So the circle is going to give you like the center point. And then depending on the range... Um, We'll say it costs 6 MP and it has a little more range. Uh, reload time, same thing. It's going to cool down in 2 seconds. Those are the three skills that we've got in uh, this tutorial. So let's take a look at this real quick. If I run around, press tab target. We throw our stone. We get closer, throw our fire, hit it with attack. and throw more fire. I've also changed the stats on the enemies so that they're... Um, a little more challenging but they don't instantly kill you in a few hits and as you level up they'll become less of a challenge because their stats are are static um, they're they're persistent no matter what level you are they're gonna stay the same level and you're gonna get more parameters every level so as you get to a higher level these will get easier but they're still gonna reward the same thing so that's why the the parameters make sense so that um, you get more stats, but you also need more experience to the next level. So you're going to have a gradual slowdown if you're fighting the same enemies, as you would expect in any uh, RPG, really. So that's really going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy this tutorial series, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know you want to see more of this sort of thing. If you have a special request, something you would like to see done in this engine, um, let me know in the comments below. Um, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, before I forget, 
uh, Phoenix Kagedisu put out a tutorial video, a very simple, very quick, easy to understand three minute tutorial. So if you're still having trouble setting up your project, watch this tutorial video. He, he does it so easy and simple. It's an amazing tutorial. Uh, give that, a, I'm going to put a link in the description right underneath uh, all, the, all the text so you can check out that tutorial. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next tutorial.